This program is hosted by Caring Rehabilitation. This time, I will discuss the quadriceps muscle setting to achieve simultaneous contraction of the hamstrings and how to strengthen the quadriceps isometric muscle without stressing the anterior cruciate ligament. Here's the table of contents for this talk. 1. Quadriceps muscle setting. 2. Need for co-contraction of antagonist muscles. 3. Practice of modified quadriceps muscle setting. 4. Adjusting hamstring activity. 1. Quadriceps muscle setting. Immobility causes decreased synthesis and increased breakdown of muscle proteins, resulting in muscle weakness and atrophy. This is especially observed in the anti-gravity muscles of the lower limbs, such as the quadriceps femoris and gastrocnemius. Muscle weakness occurs at a rate of about 1 to 3% per day and 10 to 15% per week when the patient remains in a bed resting state. It takes a lot of time and effort to restore muscles to their original state once muscle atrophy occurs. Therefore, when a patient is forced to be immobile due to surgery or any other reason, it is necessary to load muscle contraction exercises in some way as early as possible. Of these exercises, quadriceps muscle setting is an early isometric muscle strengthening method for the quadriceps muscle, which is prone to muscle atrophy. Quadriceps muscle setting will now be explained. Roll a bath towel into a tube and place it under the knees. Then, squeeze the thigh muscles and press down on the towel with the knees, holding it for 5 seconds. This is an excellent method for early quadriceps strengthening because it does not require any special equipment and can be performed in bed. However, there are cases where problems may occur while doing this exercise. Two, need for co-contraction of antagonist muscles. In quadriceps muscle setting, the force generated by the contraction of the quadriceps is indicated by the yellow arrow. Since the quadriceps muscle is attached to the tibial tuberosity, it generates a forward shear force, anterior tibial pulling force, as indicated by the red arrow. This shear force exerts a stretching stress on the cruciate ligament. To inhibit this shear force co-contraction of the hamstrings, the antagonist muscle of the quadriceps is necessary. A in the figure shows a single contraction of the quadriceps muscle. With the onset of shear force, a high compressive stress is generated in front of the tibiofemoral joint surface, and the joint becomes unstable. B in the figure shows the situation where co-contraction of the hamstrings is obtained. Co-contraction of the hamstrings counteracts the shear force generated by contraction of the quadriceps. Simultaneously, the compressive stress on the tibiofemoral joint surface is equalized and the joint is stabilized. If the hamstrings can be contracted simultaneously in this way, the quadriceps can be strengthened without worrying about causing non-physiological stress not only to the anterior cruciate ligament but also to joint components such as the articular cartilage and meniscus. Now, let us consider the quadriceps isometric strengthening method with co-contraction of the hamstrings. Three, practice of modified quadriceps muscle setting. Here is the situation we described earlier. When performing quadriceps muscle setting, you just need to raise and hold the opposite lower limb. In other words, you can perform quadriceps muscle setting while raising and holding the opposite lower limb. This is a modified version of the quadriceps muscle setting. 
which is called the modified quadriceps muscle setting MQS. Here's the procedure for MQS. 1. Kneel on the contralateral leg as the starting position. 2. Raise and hold the contralateral lower limb at a hip flexion of 90 degree and knee flexion of 90 degree. 3. Perform quadriceps muscle setting. There are two things to keep in mind before performing quadriceps muscle setting. First, do not perform quadriceps muscle setting before the contralateral lower limb has been elevated and held. Second, the heel of the lower limb for which you are performing quadriceps muscle setting should not leave the floor. This is because it becomes impossible to achieve co-contraction of the hamstrings if the lower leg heel is already elevated. This explains why holding the elevation of the contralateral lower limb provides simultaneous contraction of the hamstrings. See Fig 1. When the hip flexors work against the weight of the raised lower leg, a moment of pelvic forward tilt is generated. See Fig 2. To resist the forward pelvic slant moment generated, the contralateral lower limb heel is pressed against the floor and the hip extensors, which includes the hamstring muscles, are activated to generate a backward pelvic slant moment. Therefore, for hamstring activity, the contralateral lower extremity must be elevated, and the heel of the lower extremity performing quadriceps muscle setting must be pressed against the floor. Four, adjusting hamstring activity. As the muscle contraction force of the quadriceps increases with its degree of recovery, the muscle activity of the hamstrings should adjust accordingly. Hamstring activity can be regulated by loading weights on the raised lower limbs. NQS is the normal quadriceps muscle setting. MQS2 is when 2 kg of weight is loaded on the ankle of the elevated limb. MQS5 is when 5 kg of weight is loaded on the ankle of the elevated limb. The percent MVIC of the hamstrings increases as the weight load increases from NQS, MQS, and MQS2 to MQS5. The percent MVIC of the quadriceps does not change. Adjusting the weight of the raising and lowering limbs means that the activity of the hamstrings can be adjusted without affecting the quadriceps muscle activity. The quadriceps muscle contraction increases as the weight load on the raising and lowering limbs increases. This time I explained the quadriceps muscle setting MQS which provides simultaneous contraction of the hamstrings. MQS can be used to strengthen the quadriceps without causing any non-physiological stress to the anterior cruciate ligament, meniscus, articular cartilage or other joint components. It is also easy to perform without the need for special equipment. Let's use it as an early stage quadriceps isometric muscle strengthening method.